coupled motion technology is essentially saying that when you take that, that flexible rod that is a spine and you bend it once, and then you bend it twice, it's gonna turn. So now you take that and you do it all at once in an oscillating fashion and you get the bow and the corner. The trip part is, is that you could oscillate or flex extend from the front or the back chain. So I could push my hips forward and I could flex and extend. I could push my hips backwards and I could flex and extend. So it's not the flexion and extension that you're concerned with. You're concerned with staying in the back chain. A big picture of this thing, if you want, like, if you want that deeper dive on like, the planes of motion, if y'all are familiar with that, and why we would debunk a cadaver scientist speaking in a supination, pronation, flexion, extension languages, we've got a frontal plane, we've got a sagittal, we've got a transverse, and the cadaver scientist is only taking a half of a sagittal, a half of a transverse, a half of a frontal, and we're saying, no, dude, it's all of it at once in a spiral fashion.